Hello, everyone. Uh, we are going to start our today's class uh, of A2 Computer Science. And I just remembered that before starting the new topic, uh, we were uh, unable to complete, or uh, we did complete, but we are unable to uh, record this lecture properly, uh, this Gantt chart question. So let's start. Uh, let's get done with this first. OK. Let me take a snap. There we go. And let's zoom it a little bit. There we have it. OK. Um, so we already know that we have to have an idea of SDLC, especially here, because uh, the activities which are being plotted here in Gantt chart, uh, no predecessor activities are mentioned here. That which activity is dependent on what activity? Uh, so in this case, you have to have a knowledge of software development life cycle. Uh, so you should be able to mention that uh, this activity cannot be started before this one. So here, we most of the activities are mentioned. Only they're asking for the activity M and N here in this next page. So M is tra training users or installed hardware and software. That can only be done after the activity L, writing a user training guide. So it's been done like this. And uh, signing off the file or rolling uh, off an application. This is always done in the end. So it comes here like this. So it's been completed like this. And this is, uh, uh, it's been done in 18 weeks. So two marks and one mark, three marks, piece of cake. Now this question, this one is tricky one. That's the reason that they have nine marks for it and plus one, the number of weeks, total 10 marks. Uh, whenever we have such questions, you have to be, you know, steady, calmly, and uh, with a focus, because once you have the picture of the problem question in your mind, only then you should proceed ahead. There is no reason of going forward and then moving backward and, you know, being jumbling around, and uh, it will get more difficult for you, ultimately. Uh, just hold, I need to take a call. Sorry. Hello. Ah, uh, Faraz. ठीक है मुझे जैसे ही मिलता है मैं कंफर्म करता हूँ ऑनलाइन क्लास में बुक फुली बस बीस पच्चीस मिनट में एंड हो जाएंगे ठीक है ठीक है नो इश्यू इश्यू चल ओके फ्रांस आई डू दैट तो वी आर ऑलरेडी सीइंग मीम्स ऑन ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो वी आर फेसिंग दिस आई सो लेट्स गेट गेट बैक टू द क्वेश्चन Question B. Uh, so uh, I was um, forcing you, telling you, uh, requesting you that you have to read the question very, very carefully. Activity E. This activity E showed that the code contained major errors. So it's means activity, if you can look here, activity E is being completed here. After the completion of the activity E, we come to know that there are major errors in the code. And after that, we will be going for the solutions, okay? So further module coding is required. Module coding, if you just look here, it's the C. Uh, and module testing. This is module testing. On the other page, I'm just drawing the uh, circles. Uh, and integration testing, that itself is E. So we already can see that this is C, and D is starting along with it in the last week, and then this is E. It will... Uh, it, it will going to start after the completion of activity because only then we just come to know the errors. So the two weeks of uh, activity C. And this will be started this way because we can already see this uh, uh, togetherness here. All right. And uh, the activity. So um, this is your C, D, and E. Okay, that's easy, but why nine marks? Okay, there are more questions. This is the hardware delivery delayed by 16. Okay, just only one single sentence. What is the big deal? Yeah, there could be a big deal because all of the things will be pushing forward, okay? 
So the hardware delivery is delayed by 16 week. What is the hardware delivery? Uh, how it's been done? If you look here at Edge, research and order the hardware. So once you have done with the research and order hardware, Edge, it's been mentioned here, it takes only one week to do that. After doing so, here initially when there was no delay, you can see that the J thing, which is actually installation of the delivered hardware is done immediately after that because definitely the hardware is delivered after your research and all the other stuff but uh, the thing is uh, here it's been delayed for 16 weeks so you will not going to receive the hardware for 16 you have ordered it but the delivery is uh, been delayed uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen weeks after 16 weeks, then you can perform the activity J, that is the installation of the hardware. It's been done here. And um, after doing that, what will be the other activities which are dependent and uh, they can only be done in that way. Okay, um, we have done with the uh, activity uh, J, that is installation of the hardware. Let's talk about the activity K. We are done with this one, this one. We're just doing it in one go. Uh, there is activity F that we're missing out, but activity F also depends uh, on activity L. They do always goes together. Just let, let's have a look. And it also depends on activity K. I'm telling you, this there is no dependability told you here, but if you just look into the SDLC, if you just study that, for example, this F is alpha testing the alpha testing thing goes along with the activity l which is writing a user training guide you you want to write down the user training guide you have to uh, sit together and do the alpha testing this both things goes together and even let's not talk much about it you can also see the dependability going along here as well this is being started together and they're depending on this part which is the k K is the writing technical documentation. You cannot, you should not start writing the user training guide before writing the technical documentation. And definitely the technical documentation can only start after you have installed your software on the hardware, the activity J. So uh, F activity J is already delayed. And after doing that, so we can write down the technical documentation, K. So K can only start from here. Uh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm bad. The K is, um, sorry, I'm just rewinding my words. My bad, my bad. Just listen, listen, listen. <laughs> the activity K, that is writing the technical documentation. Okay. Writing the technical documentation, it should, it must, because this is a, technical thing that we're doing along with the programming and coding specifically if you're doing the integration testing once you have done with the module testing and once you have done with the module coding and while you're performing integration testing which is this then meanwhile you will go to write down the technical documentation uh, technical documentation just keep this thing in your mind if you're writing a technical documentation it goes with the integration testing Okay, the technical uh, documentation of the programming, coding. It goes with after the coding, module testing, during the integration testing. Okay, so you have to start the activity along with the uh, the activity. And even if you just look here, you can see that. Yeah. So the technical documentation, that is your key. It goes there. All right, so this is the correct one. Of course, nine marks, they're not that much easy. Uh, once done with the integration testing and starting the writing techn technical documentation alongside, whether it we have installed the hardware after the six weeks, we have uh, done with the coding and uh, module testing and integration testing, the two extra weeks that was that were required. Now uh, we're left with the uh, activity F and uh, L. Now, F is alpha. If you're doing alpha, what is alpha testing? Alpha testing is once you're done with the software installation 
And now you just want to check that if that software is working properly on the hardware or not. That is your alpha testing that, is your, that you're doing for the very first time within uh, in-house, okay, before sending it to the customers. Customers, even few of the selected customers can uh, do the beta testing for you. And then uh, the actual software or hardware or the smartphones, whatever the thing is, that can be rolled out for uh, a regular consumer. But alpha testing is always done in-house and after the completion of uh, the hardware and installation of the software over that hardware. So because hardware is being installed here, all right, just after that, we can start our alpha testing, that is F. So F is dragged up to this level. And it only needs uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks for activity F. And while you're doing alpha testing, you can uh, do the user training guide, how you can train your users while you're doing the alpha testing, because then you're just coming to know, okay, you have to press this and you have to press that. So that will be done here. Uh, activity, activity, L, L, L. All right, there we go. So alpha testing and uh, um, user training guide goes along. And uh, definitely the last two parts, M and N will go like this. And this. And it requires 26 weeks. So this is your Gantt chart, guys. Uh, it is quite um, interesting to do. This is on page number 8485. Uh, please get done with it. Uh, we're just having a slight delay in our class, but you just can have a look on those questions. We can definitely do it. I'll try to get done with this lecture ASAP before Saturday, of course, because on Saturday we're going to have our class with queries. So I'll get done with the uh, topics um, in state diagram. Yeah, this one. So you, you can just have a look on this question. This is on page number 16. Uh, they're quite interesting, um, fun. So we're going to do this topic and we will going to start with another topic with it. I'm just ending today's class uh, on a shortened note and uh, with a high hope. And um, yeah, I know uh, that uh, um, chaos is, uh, is still going on regarding the CIEs that either they will going to happen here in zone four in Pakistan on time or not, most probably uh, students will go for the withdrawals and they go for the uh, uh, October and November because uh, even I don't think so. it's a good idea to uh, give some of the components and some of them if they are in uh, June, after 1st of June. Um, it's better that if withdrawal is an option. Uh, before, I, I think I should not say anything right now because everything is so ambiguous. Uh, what if like uh, the... The paper can be continued, but it's it's also vague. It's everything is vague. Uh, let's wait uh, wait for for a week and so and uh, um, stay in touch. Uh, keep studying. In any case, even even paper uh, our papers are going to held in October and November. This is the best, better, awesome opportunity you people to ace, work hard, give another you know um, roll out to your studies, practice, make a timetable, take care of your health. Um, do some, uh, you know, in-home exercises, brainstorm, go for online classes, learn ethical hacking, cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, uh, arts, graphics, I don't know. This is an awesome opportunity. Uh, even if you just want to feel like you want to talk to me on this, uh, we can talk to on this. We can have a good time over the online and learn and become someone. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I just want to say bye-bye. See you soon.